And welcome back to What If. I'm pre-recording this for Wednesday. On Tuesday, we'll be able to pre-record the Hood. Well, maybe if I get home early enough, I can. Otherwise, I'll just do it tomorrow with the death bell prediction. Um, you notice my hair looks a little greasy. I just got out of the shower. I got to go to work, unfortunately. Um, but... So, the, so I decided to pick a quick one because I don't have a lot of time. And this one came to us from Zachary Gerber. I believe that was re- your name, Zachary Gerber. Uh, who asked the question, what if Goku was adopted by the Grand Priest? Taking it one step above what if it, he was adopted by Whis. Now, the what if he was adopted by Whis was definitely a multi-part layered one because it's a different dynamic if you're adopted by Whis, who still generally goes around the real world, the living world, the mortal world. Uh, allows you to interact, and allowed me to pretty much create a hacks Goku I could create. That, that was fun, to have just hacks Goku there. Um, the, there this is probably only going to be one episode. And the reason for that is it's going to basically stem from a lot of why would the Grand Priest do it, and how would he raise Goku in the circumstances behind that. So, first off, you have to figure out why the Grand Priest would adopt Goku. How would he even be involved in that? Well, assume it. let's assume that during Beers' sleep... Whis is visited by his father. You know, they chat, explain the scenario. He's like, Lord Beerus is still asleep right now. He gave, he allowed uh, this Frieza fellow to destroy Vlad. He's like, oh, very well then. Uh, but tell him if he shirks on his chores, I'll have to have a talking with him. He's like, yeah, yes, father. And then as the Grand Priest is leaving, you know, going back to his convention, he spots something flying. He's like, hmm, I wonder what that is. Goes in and he sees a little baby. And just like Whis, I imagine Gr- the Grand Zeno, Grand Zeno, sorry, the Grand Priest would see the inherent potential in this child, would see the inherent potential, go seeing that he could become something uh, unlike what we in this universe has seen, or mul- more un- multiple universes that have ever seen. The level of potential this child ultimately has actually even, like, impresses the uh, the Grand Prix. So he makes a collective decision. Just like, I'm going to bring this back to Grand Zeno. Now, we don't actually know how old Zeno is. He They act and look like children. For all we know, though, and it's implied, no, they're like millennia, millions of years old. Because um, angels pretty much are kind of angels and mortals in many ways. They can die. It's pretty It's pretty implied that angels can still die. They're still living beings, but they can die. And likewise, the Grand, grand uh, Priest would very likely um, be uh, the same rate, uh, same way. Uh, so, but Zeno, we have to assume Zeno, who is... See, I think what it, the Grand Priest and Zeno's relationship really is is that the Grand Zeno is Zeno is the ultimate destroyer god. He is the ultimate god of destruction. Grand Priest is his angel attendant, but it goes one step further that he is he has no combat abilities whatsoever. He could easily actually be killed if someone deemed it. So that's why he has bodyguards as well. Anyway, so the Grand Priest brings Goku, you know, to the palace. Uh, and, you know, uh, Xena's like, oh, what are you, he's like, Grand Peace, he's like, what are you doing? I say, I found this child, he's like, I think he will, I think he will grow to be quite, the, quite the, our, uh, quite an ally, so, something we have never seen, Goku, uh, Grand Zeno, and something you, uh, something I feel you desperately need, an up friend, he's like, oh, he can, he can play games with me? Absolutely he will, when he's old enough, and it's like, yay, so Grand Zeno, uh, so Zeno would be very happy about that. So you would cut to basically Goku being raised among Grand Priests. Now, I I argue that you would it would take still Goku a while to hit God Key, even being raised by Whis. With the Grand Priest, uh, I I think you're looking at a, a completely different Goku in that sense. Oh, also, let's cut to Dragon Ball era, 14 year old Goku. Again, I think he looks more like he's first up taller. He's got a better diet. Um, still sh- on the short side, but ultimately we know how he how tall he eventually begets. Um, so, um, huh. uh, so, sorry, the commercial for uh, the original, uh, wow, over, overboard. So, because I remember seeing the, uh, remake this year, and I thought it wasn't bad. It's was a different thing entirely. So, you, you would have Goku, first of Goku, I think this Goku has divine key. He just being raised by the Grand Peace for so long, and literally best friends with Zeno, him and Zeno are like this, because he's still Goku. He's now, But he's also vastly intelligent Goku. Like, he understands the mechanics of the universe, knows not to do some things. But he's still Goku, so him and Zeno are just besties, and they do stuff, and they play and hang out. And the Grand Priest is really happy that Zeno has a good friend, and he has seen Goku now as a son. He actually looks at Goku like a son. 
very much as he uh, very much as he sees you know his other children. Maybe even a bit more because he actually spent he's actually around Zeno for so long. Uh, but Zeno, you know, what does Zeno want, uh, or what does Zeno and the Grand Priest, more the Grand Priest, want Goku to do overall with this time? Does he want him to go to, like, the mortal world and see that? Well, maybe off and on they probably would, just so he'd get interaction with mortals, so he's not, um, you know, he doesn't become, like, arrogant or turn, like, into a Zamasu type, not that Z uh, Grand Priest thinks he would, but, yeah, off and on. However, ultimately... Goku probably doesn't... Goku... I think he trades Goku to be something akin to between a destroyer and an angel. Uh, like, I think... When... Uh, I think he sees the potential for either an angel, a jail of protector or a destroyer god. So, uh, I think... And here, here's a fun little idea. Let's just put it like this. What if Goku becomes a god of destruction? Goku... Remember, Goku generally is a peaceful guy... But this is a Goku who's been raised all his life with the Grand Priest, has God Key, understands the Viking, even they can do the like the Hakai and stuff like that. So what if Go what if he's been grooming him to basically be a proper God of Destruction, do his job correctly? And let's go one step further, because we don't know when each of these God of Destructions got their position. For all we know, some of them only got it recently. So let's let's assume for one moment that. Champa was a recent inductee. Like, let's be clear, in Dragon Ball time, he stole God of Destruction for almost, like, 40 years. But so let's say that, you know, Champa is a recent God of Destruction. Let's say that, you know, G Goku, I want you to take uh, undertake this great task. It's a, it, I think it's time you excel, uh, you uh, uh, exceed, son. But to be fair, he says, like, you're, oh, you're almost right. We're going to prepare you for your ultimate. I want you to become the next god of destruction. Like, what? What? You want me to be a destroyer? I, I don't know if I can. I'm not really a destroyer, Dad. And just, I know, son. I know. But don't worry. Your sister will be there. Uh, they guide you. It's like, wait, who? Vados? It's like, Vados! It's like, oh, Goku-chan! Or Goku-kun! Uh, and let's be clear. They're not adopted. So if I decide to go that route, and now that I'm saying this, I love this might because I don't have a lot of time for go to work. I might have to make this a two-parter. So yeah, they're not a, they're not blood related. And you know what? I mean, we don't know how the angels really come into being. We know they have a father. Where's the mother? Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, we could go that route. We'll see what happens. But still, I imagine because family that we bought us. All the angels have met Goku, and they all pretty much get along very much well, very well with Goku. Vados particularly, he's like, Goku, John, Goku, good, Vados, John. <laughs> uh, and he's like, yeah, they hug, and it's like, wait, so Vados is going to be my age. That's right, Goku. So when Goku hits his 25th birth, basically end the Dragon Ball art, a series, he pretty much can go Super Saiyan Blue, all that stuff, hands down, no problem whatsoever. Frankly, it, it'd be realistic, he could probably do at least Ultra Instinct Omen at this point. 25 years living with the Grand Priest, training with the Grand Priest, being around Zeno and all that stuff, that's not unreasonable. <laughs> so, yeah, he basically, you know, Shampa's like, I thought I was the one who was in Ch up by the God of Destruction. Well, unfortunately, Shampa, I, we've had a better recruit. But, hey, think of it this way. You still have God Key. We'll let that happen. It's slide. But I, but I wanted the rules. Fine, it's like, fine, if you can defeat my son, you can go. Your, your son? But he looks like a Saiyan. The very well, fine. Yeah, and then go just... Beats the living crap out of him. Just poof. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. It's like, oops, sorry there, Shampa. Ah, 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 ah. So there you have God of Destruction Goku of Universe 6. So we have to really play around here a bit. Beerus eventually will wake up because he had the whole notion of the Super Saiyan God. Doesn't know anything about Goku. Doesn't even know about this new God of Destruction. Thinks his brother's still the God of Universe 6. Though we will probably fill him in. What happens in between then? Well, Bulma's dead. Uh, turned into a carrot. Yamcha... Well, Yamcha's still probably around. King Piccolo... Basically, Pilaf rules the world. King Piccolo basically wakes up. Conquers the world again. And that is the way Dragon Ball is until Raditz basically comes. Because, you know, they know about the Earth setting. Uh, Reeks have their... Beats the shit out of King Piccolo. Um, and then like, oh, whatever. We'll, we'll just, you know, sell this plan off. Goes back to Freeze, Vegeta, and Nappa. It's like, 
Oh, Lord Free, and they contact Lord Free, we got a new planet for you. It's like, oh, good, my monkey minions hat. What fun. Uh, now go on, go on, do your thing. Uh, so, and that's really going to be, because no Dragon Balls at all. I mean, though Kami probably brought the Dragon Balls back at one point, and honestly, probably made a wish that kind of gave them some leeway to protect the Earth a bit. Um, in fact, yeah, what, what, I'm going to have to change that right off the bat. King Piccolo rules for a while, but then Kami's just like, uh, that damn other half of mine. Okay, bring, take the world back from him. But like, what? Yeah, it's like, oh, there you are coming. Yeah, killing myself. What? It's like, the, then, then no more Dragon Balls. So yeah, because he felt Piccolo was such a threat, he'd probably do himself in. Because he tried to do that before. He tried to kill Piccolo knowing he would kill him. So he would probably kill himself. Um, Again... So, so that, Brads comes, they just take their planet, Z-Fighters, Tien, Krillin, uh, Roshi, Yamcha, they're all, they're killed. The best one probably might be Tien, like, at best 200, maybe 250. Um, in fact, let's just say he's 250 for his overall power for, like he was in the original, for easy numbers. Us, uh, but they're all killed, so then they take Earth, Frieza now owns Earth, by Eoth. Uh, and you're not even going to get Dragon Balls. Vegeta, Nappa, and Rad just go along working for him for a while. Uh, I think really it's going to get to the point where Vegeta takes a couple massive Zenkais, gets to where he was at Namek through combat, um, into his power level when he faced off against the first part of Frieza, and then he goes to try to challenge Frieza. Goes, it goes about the same way it did initially. Nappa and Raz are also initially stronger, too. So maybe, like, Na Raz is maybe, I don't know, 3,000. Nappa is, I don't know, uh, ten, I'm trying to do some math here. 20,000. Um, so, ultimately, they, they still want all those. So the Saiyans get wiped out. Freeze is just doing his thing. Um, so, yeah, Freeze is just doing his thing. Uh, and, you know, ultimately, and I'm going to cut it off for, uh, here quick for, uh, in a little bit. Uh, so, ultimately, Beerus would wake up, probably take out Frieza like he said he would. Um, so, um, because he said, I'm just going to take out Frieza. Uh, so, what's going on here? Well, there's a new god of destruction in the universe, Six Lord Beerus. What? <laughs> it's like, what happened to the shopper? Well, he tried to apply, but uh, my uh, my newest brother uh, recently uh, was uh, appointed that. You have a new brother? Well, he's an adopted Saiyan. It's like, adopted Saiyan? S Satan? God. How strong is he? Well, he's the new god of destruction. Could he be the one I had the... So basically, yeah. Beerus and Whis are now going to go over to Universe 6 to go and take him out, uh, take on, to ch uh, meet Goku and be like, is this the Super Saiyan God I've heard about, Whis? <laughs> I'm so giddy. Uh, meanwhile, Goku, I bet you, close off, Goku, I think, would actually be doing a, because he's under Grand Zeno, uh, and uh, the Grand Priest, he'd be doing his job a lot better than Shampa ever did, because Shampa was kind of just a greedy, fat bastard. Um, so, uh, ultimately... Yeah, I'm, instead of the universe being, like, the third lowest universe, instead of, like, you know, uh, initially, I think they would go, because he was uh, trained, had the, um, uh, had the um, guidance of uh, Grand Zeno and the Grand Priest, and, like, his siblings, Goku, I think, actually is able to bring their universe up to the point where they would not have to participate in the uh, tournament of power should it happen. So, yeah, and plus, you know, he's got all the good repertoire and good merit with Grand P Zeno and Grand Priest. So, yeah, I think uh, that's the way that would go, definitely. Uh, and then we'll cut over to Beerus, basically, meeting up. Like, oh, so you must be Goku. Granted, the, granted, no, there's no reason to call him Goku. His name would be Kakarot. So, actually, let's call him Kakarot. You must be Kakarot. <laughs> so good to finally meet you. And they just see Be Beerus there. Uh, so we're going to leave it with that. So I thought this was going to be a quick one-shot, but actually, you know what? I'm having fun playing this scenario out, so we're going to move it up to more than just one part. So this is just part one. Till then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. Do a review at some point. Ideas for win, Star Wars, Super Magic, what if. Anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know, and I'll get to that at some point. I will see you folks next time.